Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to replace the blade on this DeWalt circular saw. So I'll show you how that's done. And uh, it uses a 5 millimeter Allen, and there is one included on the machine, and I'll show it to you in a minute. Uh, but if you lost it, uh, you'll need that. Uh, also, please review entirely the owner operator manual. This is just kind of a demonstrational purpose video, uh, but uh, make sure you read the entire thing. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you remove the battery. Uh, if it's a corded version, make sure it's unplugged, but you definitely do not want this operating while you're trying to change it. Uh, that could be some uh, life-threatening problems if you did. Uh, so next uh, we're going to come in and remove this uh, washer here that's going to hold the blade in place. And as mentioned, we're going to use a 5 millimeter Allen. So on the side of the machine, there's actually one included. Uh, hopefully it hasn't been lost by the time you need to use it. And uh, if not, we're going to go ahead and just use a, a 5 millimeter Allen socket. But you do want to be careful with this. It's not intended to be tightened down uh, too much. So. Anyway, uh, uh, we'll go ahead and you'll notice that the, you use the opposite direction here. You're going to turn it clockwise in order to loosen it. And that's because of the rotation of the blade. Uh, it would uh, self-loosen if they didn't have it set up this way. So next you're going to remove the metal washer. And then you're going to remove this plate. This is a one-time use plate. It says to please remove it uh, as soon as you install the blade. Uh, so. Um, if that was missing, you might not uh, realize that it's a reverse thread, but uh, it is. So, uh, Next, you're going to pull up on the uh, guard here and uh, hold it in place, and that's going to allow us to bring in the blade. Uh, now, the blade turns in this direction, and so you want to look at the which way the blade's going. It does have an instruction showing you the arrows of operation on the blade, but a different manufacturer might uh, be different, so don't always rely on that. So in this case, we're just going to slide the blade on up in here, and uh, it uh, goes in pretty good there. Next, we put on the metal washer, get that into place, and it's keyed, so it only goes in one way. And next, we're going to thread in our uh, five millimeter Allen bolt here. So remember, you're now turning this counterclockwise. So it's the opposite of the righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. <laughs> now, uh, when you go to tighten this down, uh, first of all, there's going to be a lock that you're going to need to push. And so you, it's this button right here. And so you push down on that button, and it will keep the blade from spinning. And so uh, next, bring in the wrench. But you want to be very careful with this. You don't want to over-tighten it. So just kind of get it so that it's firm, as the instruction manual says. But uh, don't uh, you don't want to break anything. So just get it nice and tight. Uh, next, you'll be able to reinstall the battery and give it a little test run here. There's a trigger guard that you push down, and then uh, then you're able to push down the trigger button. And so just make sure that it works, and then please remove the battery again if you're not using it, just in case any kids or anybody get their hands on it. You never want them to be able to operate it. So anyway, that's uh, the overall... Uh, thing for installing it. Now be very careful when you take it off. If you're changing the blade, it could be very, very hot. So that's uh, one of the first things to do. So w once again, now for removal, make sure the battery is out. Make sure that uh, it's not hot. And you're going to push down on that lock guard, and that's going to stop the blade from uh, moving, and you'll be able to uh, loosen the nut. So again, it's a reverse thread, so you're training it to clockwise to take it off. Uh, so again, just make sure that the blade is not hot, make sure that the battery is removed, and uh, you want to clean out any shavings of sawdust or anything that comes in here. So next we'll just pull that uh, guard back up, and then you'll lift the blade out and replace it with a new one. So that's uh, as simple as it is, uh, very easy to change out, uh, just make sure that uh, you're doing it safely, you don't burn yourself, you don't cut yourself. Uh, you want to be very, very careful with this. Just make sure that that battery is removed for the entire time. So then with the uh, wrench in the reverse mode, which would be lo loosening under normal circumstances, going counterclockwise, uh, go ahead and put it in, push that lock button down to hold the blade in place, and then just tighten it down snug. So anyway, that's how easy it is to change out the blade on this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching.